morning. Hope you're doing well today. I pray God will richly bless you. And uh, pray today that we'll just enjoy this world God created for us. And uh, we'll take time to spend time in His Word. We'll take time to spend time talking with Him. And um, I'm just excited about what God's doing and what God's going to do. And uh, I pray that you are too. Let's look at Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29. And this is a, a, a warning to those that are sinners and still have not surrendered to God, but it's also a positive for those of us who are children of God. Chapter 15 in the book of Proverbs, verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayers of of the righteous you know you, you you hear that now the Lord is far from the wicked his ears are, are not listening to them unless it's the prayer of repentance but he says but he heareth the prayers of the righteous think about that today God has promised to hear our prayers why are some prayers answered and others are not John declares that an effective prayer life is related to our devotions to God. Folks, if we want to pray prayers that are going to be answered, obeying God's commandments, loving Him, pleasing Him, are indispensable conditions in order to receive what we ask for in prayer. Sin hinders our prayers. If we have sin in our life and we have not asked for forgiveness, we have not asked God to cleanse us and make us pure and whole, our prayers will not be answered. Because you see there, John declares that an effective prayer life is related to our devotions to God and obeying His commandments. That's what it takes. He said, my ears are ever listening to the cries of His children. And He does. He listens to us. He hears us. And he answers our prayers, sometimes not as fast as we'd like, uh, sometimes not as in the way that we would like for him to. But see, we're praying to a God that knows everything. He knows when that prayer needs to be answered. He knows how that prayer needs to be answered. And all we have to do is trust him. But we must live the life that opens up that communication, not only going, but coming. Center friend, you can pray for somebody that's sick in your family. You can pray for a child that, and, and, or whatever. And if you're lost, you've never asked God into your life, and you still have sin in your life, and you're living that life that's got you separated from God, that prayer is not going to be heard. I remember one time I had a, a son who was sick, bad sick. And I remember looking at him, and I knew I was not a child of God at the time. I was lost, and I could not pray for my child. I had to call saints of God to pray for my own son because I knew I was lost. I knew God would not hear my prayer no matter what. But the Bible says if we're saved, if we're born again, we've asked God in our life, we've asked for forgiveness of our sins, he said right there he will hear our prayer and he will answer our prayer. So children of God, make sure that we're living the life. And if we do sin and we are going to mess up, we're going to make mistakes, whatever you want to call it, we need to ask for forgiveness. We need to keep that line of communication open because sin will break it. Sinner friend, if you want God to hear your prayer, he said he'll hear the prayer of forgiveness. He'll hear the prayer of a repentant, a broken and contrite heart who is really seriously sorry for, for their sins. Pray today that if you're lost, you'll pray that prayer and ask God into your life. As a child of God, make sure Make sure that we keep that line of communication open. And don't let sin get into interference and do static or whatever else you want, however else you want to describe it. Because, my friend, it will hinder our prayers. Lord, thank you today for that line of communication that we have with you through prayer. What an awesome God you are that you sit upon a throne that you can hear our prayers when we pray. We don't have to holler. We don't have to shout out loud. We can just whisper a prayer and your ears are listening to those who are loving you and serving you. Thank you for being a God. 
that hears and answers prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you with my prayers. Thank you.